Do I have a trick that may be useful to some of you that I thought I would I thought I would share because it's uh, it's it can be useful in certain circumstances. So I've been working on this gambeson, and one of the things about it is that it's got it's got several different layered uh, materials on it, and so if I go actually I get out of this out of this render and just have sort of a closer look at it you can see that it is made up actually of two materials so there's like the quilted fabric which is the sort of diamond pattern on it and then there's also a material material which is like this sort of muslin texture underneath and they're being generated by separate normal maps so I have two different types of materials here and I want to essentially merge both of them into a single material so you could do this in like an external program. You could do it in Photoshop. You could do it in, uh, you know, Substance Painter. You could do it in Armor Paint. You could do it in a whole bunch of external programs. But you don't necessarily always want to do that. And this is just quicker and faster when you're working with texture samples to texture models in Blender. So the way I have this set up in shading is I have these two normal maps. So I have one and then two, and then they're going into a mix RGB node with a factor of 0.5. And then into the into, so what I want to do is combine these into a single image so that I can get rid of these two and just have one normal map. So we're going to go into compositing, and when you go into compositing, if you don't see anything here, you just need to tick the uh, little box that says use nodes, and then I'm going to just delete these actually, and we don't need those right now. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Shift A and go to input image and then I'm going to select the normal map and then I'm going to duplicate this and select the other normal map. So I have the quilt here and then the other one is this. And I'm also going to change the color space back to sRGB because uh, the way that that works essentially is colored data is stored in uh, image maps in you know one of two formats sRGB which is transformed with gamma in order to sort of make images look uh, correct for you on your monitor uh, which is used for like you know color images and photos and that kind of stuff and then images which have data samples essentially stored in the channels and that's for like normal maps roughness maps metallic maps that kind of stuff is all non-color data uh, but what will happen is if you mix these together while well, it's set to non-color is it will not apply gamma correction and you'll end up with a normal map that looks a little bit washed out. So this is you know, significantly brighter than the original image, which I, which, uh, or than the original two normal maps, which I was trying to combine here. So we'll switch it to sRGB and then afterwards, once they're combined, uh, we'll put it back into, into Blender and then turn it back into a non-color sample. So from there, we then want to add a combine, uh, not a combine, a mix node. And we're going to plug this one into the top image slot and the second normal map into the bottom one and then set the factor to match the uh, what we had in the shading tab, which was 0.5. And then I'm just going to leave this on mix and I'm going to add, oops, I'm going to add an output, file output. And you can see here that it's going to output a PNG. And so I'm gonna plug this in here. And then the path, you just wanna select somewhere uh, where you're going to, uh, where you're gonna retrieve this file. And so I'm just gonna put this on my desktop in this directory called file, and I'm gonna call it file, and then just hit accept. And now when I hit F12, what's going to happen is instead of rendering, right, because that's normally the button that would render your image, um, it's going to run whatever is in this compositing, this compositing window. And so your render screen is going to be blank because you're not outputting the render that you generated of your, of your image anymore. Uh, but if we go to, if I go to my, to my desktop here and go into that directory, you can see it created a file and that file is the composite of those two image inputs that we had added. And so if we open this up, you can see that now this is using both of those normal maps and it is uh, mixing their RGB values together. I'm just gonna quickly grab that, 
grab that file and put it here and plug this into the normal map and then set it to non-color. And now you can see I haven't hooked it up to the um, to the uh, mapping node inputs, uh, but you can see that it is working correctly and it has it has the detail of both of those both of those normal maps combined into a single texture. So that is a quick way that you can combine normal maps inside of Blender without having to go to an external application. It takes two seconds to do and it will output a single file, which is you know, what you want for, for some projects. Now, the other thing to keep in mind here is that what's gonna happen with these texture samples, if you mix and match different sizes of texture samples, it's gonna downsample some of them to whatever is the size of your smallest texture. So if you have you know, a 2K texture and a 4K texture and a 1K texture, when you merge them, they're all essentially gonna get downsampled to the size of the 1K texture. So in order to avoid problems with, with that, it's best to try and merge texture samples which are at the same resolution. So there you go, I hope that helps, and uh, that's all for now.